Hey guys, what's up? It is Mal here from Sablecraft Videos, and today I wanted to go, uh, cover some of the new content released on Subnautica, and this only takes place if you have the experimental version of the game. So, in that regard, um, it won't affect you if you're playing the stable or if a torrent website hasn't released uh, the new version. Anyway, this would be 22365 August 2015 build. Uh, and let's get started on the new features. So, as you'll see here, if you press new game, there is a creative option now. That means it's basically like Minecraft. You can do whatever you want. You don't have to you don't have to type in console commands, no cost, whatnot, you know, turn off the radiation. Basically, it's, it packs everything in the game already for you. That way, you can do whatever you'd like without having to worry about getting any resources or whatever, your health. Um, so actually, if you get in here right now, and you hold tab, press it, you'll see that with the creative version of the game, you will have automatically the constructor, the power glide, terraformer, propulsion cannon, and builder tool. So you are basically able to do whatever you'd like in the beginning of the game. With no constraint, no energy loss, nothing. The game is preset, ready for you to just build to your heart's content. So actually, if you drop this constructor here and climb in, you'll see that everything is already ready to go. See, click the Cyclops, bam, build the Cyclops. Now watch this thing build. Didn't have to worry about building any materials. They're just already there for you. So that's cool. Uh, let's wait for that to... Whee! Let's wait for that to go. This power glide is ridiculously fast. Alright, there goes the Cyclops in the water now. Um, next thing... We'll need to build our Seamoth and throw it into the Cyclops. From what I can see, that I should be uh, able to dock. So let's go. Whee! Boom. So let's dock this guy real quick. And we'll talk. Oh, there we go. A little laggy, but nonetheless, we're in. Um, and let's move this guy over. You'll notice there's no energy requirement for anything, so you can pretty much go wherever the hell you want. Don't have to worry about getting eaten either. So that's nice. You don't have to use console commands if you don't know what the hell you're doing. So let's take this sea moth all the way down to the bottom of the water. Or, not to the bottom, but somewhere where there's some depth, you know. I guess 60 meters is good enough. So let's just set up shop here. And we'll get to the next... Whoops, not what I meant to do. Let's get to the next set of interesting features now. Obviously the moon pool is something that's always been standard now, lately. Um, so let's dock this uh, Cyclops into the moon pool. And we'll get to new features that have been included in the Seamoth as of late. Come on! Oh wait, forgot. You do have to equip the Seamoth, or the, uh, whoa! I, that's new to me as well. Okay, well, we'll get to that, I guess, too. Um, you need to have a power source for your moon pool, or your Seamoth will not dock. Power restored. All primary systems online. There we go. It is... Now, next thing that's interesting is... The, uh, the Seamoth now has upgrades. You can now upgrade your Seamoth. I don't know where the upgrade thing is. I guess it doesn't show up yet. But there's an... Oh, uh, there it is. Seamoth upgrade console. Yep, here it is. It should be in modules, but alright. Anyway, this is your new a new feature that comes with the uh, Seamoth. Um, and the upgrades you can build in this new module here. There's a Seamoth depth module now. So... One thing you'll notice now is when you're with when you're in the sea moth and you go to depth, there's crush depth again. So you no longer will you be able to go down to thousand meters without being crushed. So there is a limit now. You got to get upgrades in it. And actually, the cool thing is 
this box is it's unskinned right now but you can stick the upgrades directly onto the seamoth from outside of it so it's a very nice feature for the um, moon pool in the seamoth uh, another thing is um, you can color your seamoth as you would the cyclops now so whatever say I want a, uh, a, I don't know, a reddish type of uh, seamoth and we want the name to be, I don't know, green, I guess, something ugly. And we can rename it Poopy Seaman. Done. Now, bam. There's our new colored sea moth. And it has the name Poopy Seaman over there. So that's really cool. You can finally start customizing your sea moth. Um, and install upgrades. There's, um, I know there's more than just the depth upgrade. There's a, um, uh, they're planning on adding all sorts of stuff. Um, maybe an attraction arm. So he can pick up materials now. That would be awesome, right? So there's a lot more to it than just depth. Uh, actually, if you check the wiki, there is information on it. Uh, I will put it in the description. So you can take a look at uh, what the wiki has to offer on future uh, Seamoth upgrades and whatnot. Uh, another thing that I guess I found interesting was this... Uh, these new reactors that are put in the game. I guess there's different power sources now. There's this bioreactor here, which, uh, from what I can see, looks pretty unskinned to me. Thermal plant. Yeah, they're 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 not they're not colored or anything. And the nuclear reactor. So each of these now will operate as power sources. So the game is finally introducing new power sources into the game. Um, Bioreactor, obviously, as it says here, plant matter to energy. So now you're going to find use for all that those plants you pick up. Toss them into the bioreactor, boom, you have power. Thermal plant. Um, this would come in handy in any area where there is a lot of heat. So if you follow around, wander around, I'm sure those. Um, I'm sure eventually they're going to add the uh, inactive lava biome. Has some lava. They're probably going to implement that as heat for the thermal plant because you can't get power down there otherwise. Um, there's no way to get power down there without cheating it in, other unless you use a nuclear reactor or a bioreactor. So thermal plant might come in handy for hot areas. And there's nuclear reactor. You got to find uranium, which is extremely rare. Uh, I'm not sure where to find it, uh, but when you find it, you can stick it in the nuclear reactor. And yeah, I, I remember doing it with a uh, dev build of the game before I spawned it in because I didn't know you could actually find the blueprint for it. I'm not sure where you would anyway, but you could spawn in the nuclear reactor and put in uranium and it takes a long time to process the uranium and then bam you have a lot of energy um, so that's cool um, specimen analyzer what is this this is this is new to me so many you know even not necessarily that there is a lot of new stuff in the game but a lot of stuff I missed and that the creative mode has helped me find so that's cool I don't know what you put in here. I guess you must put in a. Uh... I know it's not because it's not like the fragment analyzer, is it? Oh, yeah, no, it's not. Specimens. Hmm. I assume that has to do with fish. I don't know. I know there's also a DNA thing in the game too, so um, that's gonna allow you to like upgrade your character. So that's also cool. Bam. Um. Oh! Reef back! Gotta love this game. It's just a great, fun game. Come on, you fucking reef back. Can I pick this guy up? No. Damn! Fucking stasis fucking ram. Anyway, so that's pretty much it for the new features, the Seamoth upgrade, a uh, few blueprints, creative mode, um, and that's pretty much been the focus of this past few uh, changes. Uh, I'll keep you guys posted on new videos whenever there's new materials, so uh, thanks for watching this, guys. Have a good day.